I'm sure you guys have seen those news articles talking about how cybersecurity is one of the highest in demand fields right now in the job market and it's only going to continue to grow. I'm sure you've also seen those news articles that talk about how there's so many vacant positions open in cybersecurity and how there's a lack of cybersecurity professionals and that there's a need for them right now. I think we can all agree that the demand for cybersecurity professionals is not going to stop anytime soon. But the main thing that I see personally is on one side, I see a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals and that there's a lack of cybersecurity professionals. But I've also seen the other side where there are so many people eager to break into cybersecurity and launch their careers in cybersecurity as entry level professionals. And what I wanted to talk about in this video is that gap between the entry level professionals looking to break into cybersecurity and on the other side, the companies that are looking to hire cybersecurity professionals. Why is there such a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals but at the same time why is it so difficult to get your first entry-level job in cybersecurity with that being said my name is ben and i make videos about my journey and career in cybersecurity if you're interested in that go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new make sure to also follow me on instagram at cyber with ben where i drop some cybersecurity career tips and also document my lifestyle as a cybersecurity professional now in today's video i wanted to talk about some of the reasons why i think that gap exists and what are some ways that you as an entry-level professional looking to get your first job in cybersecurity can continue to bridge that gap and eventually get your first role in cybersecurity. The first problem that jumps out to me when it comes to this gap is going to be the discrepancy between the entry-level professionals and the companies when it comes to the experience expectations for an entry-level job. And I'm sure you guys have seen some job listings out there where a company has an entry-level position open, but then when you scroll down to the job requirements you see that they're asking for two to three years of prior experience which makes absolutely no sense in my mind at all so on one end you have companies asking for two to three years of experience for an entry-level job while on the other hand you have the applicants who have no prior experience when it comes to a professional setting in cybersecurity. after doing some research on my end even though you might have to dig a little bit i can still guarantee you guys that there are a lot of jobs out there when it comes to cybersecurity that are actually entry level when it comes to entry-level jobs in tech and specifically in cybersecurity, there's no really truly entry-level job. All of these entry-level jobs still require some form of education and training. So these entry-level jobs for the most part still expect you to have some form of foundational understanding of cybersecurity and technology. So this could include things like some entry-level certifications like Security Plus, Network Plus. In addition to certifications, they might be looking for some form of college degree that relates to a technology field. And lastly, they might also be looking for a boot camp or sort of a training boot camp if you don't have the other two. So if you're someone who is looking to break into cybersecurity, but you kind of see this barrier of entry as pretty high, the main things that you're gonna have to take into account is going to be finding different ways to add experience to your resume. And this could be different for everyone depending on your situation. If you're a college student, maybe you could join some clubs, get certifications part-time, um, also look for internships. If you're someone who is in a completely different industry and working full-time in another field. Uh, you can maybe look to get certifications on the side. You could look at boot camps, maybe get a degree part-time. It's funny that you mentioned college degree because I actually want to introduce you all to today's video sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. And I want to show you guys more about their online bachelor's in cybersecurity program. Within this program, you'll learn so many different skills that apply to a cybersecurity role today. Some of these skills involve understanding hacker tradecraft and understanding how to respond to them with incident response skills. You'll learn how to solve complex cybersecurity problems by applying system thinking and adversarial thinking to your skill set. You'll learn how to evaluate systems for potential risks and threats. And you'll also learn how to make informed decisions in computing practice based on legal and ethical principles. You can can choose to study the general track of the cybersecurity bachelor's degree or add one of the two career focused concentrations to your program data analytics fundamentals and project management fundamentals overall you're getting a well-rounded education to prepare you for your first cybersecurity role go to snhu.edu slash to see the current average salary of a cybersecurity professional and also request free information about the program all the links will be found in the description below and thank you to snhu for sponsoring today's video let's get back to the video if you're someone who is looking 
looking to make a career change, maybe you don't want to do the four year degree route, you could look into the certifications, the boot camps, and also some personal projects like a home lab, uh, learning how to use different tools, uh, learn how to use PowerShell, Linux, uh, skills related to cybersecurity and align with the role that you want to apply to um, is going to be so important for you because at the end of the day, you can have a lack of experience, but when it comes to skills, those are undeniable. If you're able to demonstrate your skills on your resume, those speak for themselves and they can't take that away from you regardless of your experience and your background. Problem number two that stands out to me is going to be the fact that cybersecurity is a rapidly evolving field and it's also very, very vast. The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving with new TTPs. Also with the introduction of AI, it's only going to continue at a faster rate. This might pose a challenge to entry level professionals looking to break into the field because a lot of times because of this rapidly evolving landscape. Maybe they don't know what to study. Maybe they don't know what to look for. Maybe they don't know how to begin studying for these new and emerging technologies. And in addition to that, cybersecurity itself is so vast. There's so many different compartments and teams within cybersecurity that you as someone who is entry level needs to understand what kind of uh, skills that you have and your interests and what you want to apply for when it comes to entry level positions. But there's so many different roles in cybersecurity in addition to SOC analysts that maybe a lot of entry level professionals professionals had no idea even existed. So these roles include things like red teaming, so penetration testing, uh, there's purple teaming, which is like a mix of blue and red team and building training. There is threat intelligence, there's threat hunting, there's governance, risk and compliance. There's so many, so many different teams within cybersecurity. And as someone who is looking to enter the field, I think it's really important for you to understand what skills that you have, what interests that you have. So understanding what you want when it comes to cybersecurity is going to be a huge, huge step in your career journey. Make sure you guys do that. Understand yourself, understand what you want out of your cybersecurity uh, experience and your journey. And I think you guys will be in good hands. Problem number three is going to be a skills shortage. This comes from the perspective of employers. A lot of them have high expectations when it comes to entry level professionals, and they want you to have a set of skills already and sort of make it as easy as possible to plug you in and allow you to start working right away. But a lot of times, as we know, we're entry level professionals. And oftentimes you don't have that background already that they expect. So this is sort of a friction that I see coming into play when it comes to finding entry level roles and getting that first job. A lot of times in cybersecurity, you'll see a role that requires a bunch of different, a variety of different skills for that role. So as someone who is entry level and has no prior experience, having this wide variety of skills is going to be relatively difficult in order to accomplish and get that first role. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I would have when it comes to dealing with these higher expectation roles is to first of all understand what kind of role you're looking for and then go into a job listing search up what, what kind of skills they're asking for and then from there continue to develop and establish a plan to learn these different skills maybe you don't have to have these skills like and, and be an expert in each and every one of them but have a basic foundational understanding of each of these skills so that when it comes time for an interview or a technical interview you're able to speak on it and you're able to dissect what exactly they're asking and eventually give the right answer and i'm sure a reoccurring theme to you when you're watching this video is that when it comes to cybersecurity, it is a lot, a lot of learning. You're gonna have to continue to learn throughout your career in cybersecurity. If you're someone who wants to cruise throughout your entire career, maybe cybersecurity isn't the right fit for you, but you will have to maybe allocate some time after work or maybe some time on the weekend whenever you're free to learn some new skills, to brush up on a certain skill uh, and continue to, to develop yourself, to make yourself marketable and also continue to keep up with the evolving technologies. And the next problem stems off of the one that I just mentioned where a lot of employers are are asking for a lot when it comes to certification requirements. I've seen several entry level job listings that require multiple certifications, and a lot of them are pretty advanced or mid level certifications that an entry level analyst or a cybersecurity professional wouldn't really go for. So, this misalignment between companies and their expectations when it comes to certifications and skills are definitely something hindering the ability for entry level professionals to get their foot in the door. And last but not least, probably one of the most important problems that we face right now is the extremely competitive job market right now and also the outsourcing of these jobs to different countries. Now, as you all know, a lot of these tech companies have overhired for the past few years and they're continuing to do layoffs. So when it comes to newer positions, they're going to be more and more selective and more cautious when it comes to bringing on new talent. On top of that, I've seen roles that are posted like one hour ago with over 100 applications already and they're not only competing with people from your direct 
select area, especially if it's for a remote job. If it's for an on-site or a hybrid, you'll probably filter out some more people. But if it's a remote job, you're going to be competing with people in your country and also people from other countries like Europe, Asia, Africa, everywhere else. They're going to be competing for the exact same job listing. So just like I said before, it's going to be so important for you to continue to develop your skills so you can set yourself apart from those people that you're competing with. Now, some of the main ways that I would combat this issue when it comes to the competition is being able to, first of all, obviously continue to develop your skills, build out your personal portfolio. In addition to that, maybe also posting on LinkedIn, uh, documenting your learning process and your journey. These are some ways that you can really open up your online network, being able to network with people in person, building connections, uh, reaching out to people online as well, building your personal brand. That is going to be huge when it comes to today's day and age when everything is digital and online. I've seen a lot of people based on their personal brands and their online portfolios and their LinkedIn profiles be able to secure cybersecurity jobs just because they've been able to build their online network. So to kind of sum things up, I think cybersecurity is a pretty difficult field to break into. Um, there's a lot of barrier for entry. There's a lot of expectation and requirements. But just to reiterate some of the main principles and solutions that I mentioned throughout this video, um, if you're someone who is an entry-level professional in cybersecurity with no prior background, although it is difficult to break into the industry, I think if you're someone who has a clear understanding of what role they want in cybersecurity and what they want to get out of it, if you're someone who has a desire to learn and a desire and hunger to continue learning and developing your skills, if you're someone who has the discipline to show up every day, show up maybe after work hours in your free time to continue developing your skills, and lastly, if you're someone who has a desire to continue to develop their online network, reach out to people, learn from people, find a mentor. If you have those principles and you stand by them and you live by them, I think you will have no problem whatsoever finding your first job in cybersecurity, and I can promise you that. With that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found a lot of value from it. If you did, go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I wanna reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also, make sure to follow at Cyber with Ben on Instagram to follow my lifestyle and more of my day-to-day -day content. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.